Hi everyone, this is Jessica Hagman at Alden Library and today we are doing a live video um, to show you some new things in our special collections. I am in the Mon Center for Archives and Special Collections on the fifth floor um, and you are welcome to come out up here and visit and see these things so please feel free to stop by when you have a chance. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around and introduce you to uh, Miriam Intratour, who is our special collections librarian, and she's actually going to open some of these things that have just come to the library um, that are just getting to be part of the special collections. So take it away, Miriam. Thanks, Jessica. Um, hi, everybody. So like Jessica said, um, I am going to unbox two new acquisitions to the collection. These are both um, in the artist book category. Um, the first, which I'm opening right now, um, is by great... Um, paper maker and artist book maker Helen Hubert. Um, here's the call of font. What's, what's that? Um, the call of font is usually like an artist statement that explains to you um, maybe the um, process in making the artist book, the materials used, the number created. Um, so this is 25 copies of what's called Handle with Care. Let me see it, you'll understand why. A paper globe inside this beautiful wooden box. Carefully. <laughs> Very carefully. You are holding the world in your hands. Wow, that's so cool. Um, and so is this like paper, and then is that stitched on there, it looks like? It looks like? like it's stitched. This is where we go back to the color font. Carefully put it back. Um, so 25 copies of Handle with Care were produced in the winter of 2013 by Helen Hubert, um, who made the pigmented air-dried abaca paper, penned and embroidered the text um, onto the paper, so it is sewn on. Um, and then designed the laser-cut box, which is made out of basswood. Um, and then it's signed and numbered by Helen. So this is a very exciting addition to our collection um, because we have a lot of paper making classes and students that are interested in um, learning about paper making processes and different um, types of um, paper that you can make and then different things that you can do with paper, unexpected things like this. Um, also, this has kind of an environmental message um, about the fragility of the world. Anything else that we'd like to talk about? And then how do you, um, like, so this was in 2013, so how do you know to order these? Is there like a catalog, or how does this come to us? How do you make that decision? Um, sometimes it's through catalogs. Helen sends out a weekly email newsletter, um, which I receive, and in this case, because we purchased from her before, we have other materials by her in the collection, um, she sent an email to us about some books that she was offering, books, artist books, artist objects that she was offering, um, she was having like an artist book sale, basically, um, and um, this is what we decided to purchase, so and we're really excited about it. That's, that's really different how I order books as a subject librarian. It's a lot of online clicking of links, but not nearly as cool right. as that, which I'm going to show you one more time in case you didn't get to see it. So that is a globe, and the word has stitching on it, and then a, a box made out of, what was it? Um, the box is made out of basswood. Basswood. And this is abacus paper with the text. Stitched on. Okay. And so you expect um, like paper making classes will be interested Definitely in this. Definitely paper making. Also, um, there's a few different classes in the art department where students make books, and they're always interested in books um, having different and complicated structures. Um, and then just generally um, history of the book type classes. That'd be so cool. Okay. So um, looks like we've got something else here too, we have right? One more box. It's a double unboxing day for okay. us here. Um, this is from Strike Three Press. Sure your <laughs> this one has some tape, so it might be able, like take a little longer to get it open. Metaphysical ABC. This is 
basically um, an artist's interpretation of the ABC books that we all kind of grew up with. Um, and we see a lot of these in artist book making. Um, I haven't actually seen this one in person before. So it's the first time you're seeing it? Yep. So exciting. This is the last copy that they had. So this one's from 2008. Note to the reader. Anti-matter. <laughs> Oh, board book or a pop-up. Mm -hmm. I guess good. Copyright. Very important concept. So it's like an interactive, yeah. if you weren't concerned about preserving the book, you could actually interact with it. And Definitely. And certainly with classes and visitors, we would let them, of course, handle it and carefully interact with it. Um, obviously, we're discovering it for the first time, so we don't really know what's inside the pages. Um, just a different take on your ABC. Say the end. Mr. Q. Sounds like a research question for someone. Right. <laughs> Ooh, what's behind the door? Ooh. Do you want to open it, Jessica? Might pull. Or does it pull? Does it pull? Or? I don't know. I don't want to. Oh, something comes out. Hmm. Okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can do it with one hand. Oh. Oh. Some sort so of. Secret code. Okay. It's like lost. Definitely unknown. Okay. <laughs> All right. Another question for someone after. to come and figure out if right. you like this book. We'll put that back in a moment. That's familiar. Oh, yeah. We've had that lots of familiar. Alice in Wonderland stuff. Yeah. That looks like the original Tignol. Or the first edition Tignol illustrations. Even Yang. Zeitgeist. The end. And here again, we have the colophon. And tip Typically, if it's in a more traditional book structure than the globe that we just saw, it will be at the end. Um, and so only 26 copies right. of this one? Wow. Um, and Dan at Strike 3 Press told me that this was the last one they had. Wow. So again, you it's like your personal kind of, like you contact the author or the artist. A lot yeah. of personal attractions, yes. Which is a lot of fun. Yeah, sounds cool. All right, um, I'm going to turn this around and say thank you to Miriam for showing us the um, new items in the special collections. And reminder that if you want to come visit, you can find this through the, through the doors, the fifth floor. You can see an exhibit that's out there now. Um, and there's actually another exhibit over on the fifth floor um, about the Left Book Club that we're hoping to do a live Facebook video about soon. Um, and maybe we can do one here as well. So um, stay tuned and um, let us know if there's anything in particular you want to see or if you have any questions about the things we've shown you today.